Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm just going to walk you around the wiki and show you how to start editing pages and all of that. And so the first thing that we're going to do is simply show you how to get to the HTML. To do that, you'll go up to this black nav bar to wiki tools and then you will edit. And then it is here that you have the code for the page that you're on. And then if you want to see the template sheet or this where you can put the CSS code you can see that this is the one that iGEM has provided you and so that is what is currently doing all of the formatting on the pages right now as long as it is linked and so in order to add an additional template sheet what you will do is you can go and you'll start with your team name and then backslash and then whatever you name your template and then you will save that and then you will be able to go in and edit that. The next thing that I'm going to show you is the history bar and so you can see on this page, I haven't actually edited anything, but if you, but once there are more edits, you will be able to go here to see previous edits, and it's, I find that it's very helpful to be able to look at iGEM's initial edit, because you can always go back and it will bring you back to this page where you're able to then see the different teams that they have for inspiration for this page and what it should contain in that description. And if you ever want to go back to a previous page, you'll do what I just did was and click on it, which will bring you to the page, and then you'll go back up to Wiki Tools and then Edit. And then it'll bring you to all of the code that is on the page in the previous edit. And then if you save the page, you're actually saving over whatever you had had on the page and so bring it back to its original state. The next thing that I'm going to show you is how to upload a file and so to do that you will choose a file. I'm going to do my team's logo and then there's a specific way that you have to name the files. You start with T, two dashes, your team names, so mine is US yeah, for L Carol HS, you can see that all of my past ones are popping up. And then you'll do two more dashes, and then whatever you want to name the logo. So we're going to name this one Team Linear Logo 2019. And then you have to have the permitted file type, and you have to have that extension on it. And then once you do that, you can just upload the file. It might take a moment. And then you can see that the file is right here. And so then in order to use this anywhere on your wiki, you can go down and click on the thumbnail, which will bring you to the file of it online. And then you will go and you can copy and paste this. And then this is the link that you have to reference in order to have the image show up on your wiki. And so I'll show you that in another video. The other thing that you can do is upload a new version of the file. So let's say that I changed my mind and want to upload this version of the logo. You'll see that it has attached, so then I can just upload the file, which also takes another moment. Sometimes you'll run into where it has an invalid thumbnail parameter. Um, I haven't really had any problems with that. A lot of times that may mean that it's just um, a larger sized photo and so it takes up more storage and so it's harder to upload. Um, and then I submit the modified description or I ignore it and save it anyway. Um, it was just, I had already uploaded it, and so it was a duplicate image. Um, 
And so even with the embedded thumbnail parameters, it will still come up when you click on it and you can still just use that link to reference. Um, but let's say I want to go back to a previous version and I just have to click on it and revert it to that. And then I can go back to the file. You'll see that that shows up on the history and then I can use it to link it there. And so those are the three main things that you'll need to know in order to get around really. Just the edit, the history, and the upload files are all I use. And so I hope that this was helpful and stay tuned to the next video. Thank you.